Oh, good, uh, good, I would say good morning. Uh, good evening, everyone. Glad to see you here this day. Uh, as we, We're going to just uh, remember uh, uh, the, the great gift that God gave to us through Jesus Christ tonight, and I'm glad you're all here. Um, we do have one quick announcement uh, uh, that Debbie has. Debbie, what's your announcement? Welcome. Let's all stand, okay? And uh, we'll have a word of prayer, and then we're going to sing "O Come, All Ye Faithful." We're going to use the song books tonight. It'll be so, uh, the the books are there underneath the chairs. Uh, the first hymn is going to be number two eighty nine, okay? So in the song books, two eighty nine, uh, give you a chance. I'll uh, let you. Uh, it's in, it's also in your uh, bulletin. The actual uh, numbers, okay, in the in the flyer. So. Um, all right, let's pray. Father, in Jesus' name, as we come tonight, um, Lord, thank you that you came to earth and came to give your life so that we could have life. And we're just going to celebrate that tonight, Lord. We're going to praise your name and thank you for all the, the great saints throughout the past that have left us legacies of some of these great songs. And Lord, just... Just turn our hearts to you tonight. That's what we ask. Comfort and strengthen us, and let our hearts be on fire for you. In Jesus' name, amen. Okay, let's come on and see, folks. All righty. And uh, <coughs> we're going to sing verse 1 and 2 in the book. All right. Uh, oh, come all ye faithful. Okay, number 289. Okay? All right. All right, brother. <laughs> Oh, come, all ye faithful, joyful and triumphant. Come ye, oh, come ye to Bethlehem. Come and behold him, born the King of Age. Him. Oh, come, let us adore Him. Oh, come, let us adore Him, Christ the Lord. Verse 2. Sing, choirs of angels, sing in exaltation, oh, Sing all ye bright hosts of heaven above. Glory to God. Glory to God. Oh, glory in the highest. Oh, come let us adore. Oh, come let us adore. Let us adore Him, Christ the Lord. Amen. You may be seated. Praise the Lord. Good singing. Good start. You are the faithful when you came tonight. And uh, I'm so glad that uh, we're blessed to have Pastor Mike Caesar visiting with us. Because, uh, yeah, give him a big hand. All right. That's it. All right, but praise the Lord. Uh, actually, uh, we got Pastor Ed is sick, and, and so is uh, Deacon Mike. So Pastor Mike Caesar is going to start off the service with a reading from Matthew 1, 18. All right, Mike, you're up. Be 
the house of the Lord. Uh, the gospel according to St. Matthew, and it reads in verse 18, Now the birth of Jesus Christ was on this wise. When as his mother Mary was espoused to Joseph, before they came together, she was found with child of the Holy Ghost. Then Joseph, her husband, being a just man and not willing to make her a public example, was minded to put her away privily. But while he thought on these things, behold, the angel of the Lord appeared unto him in a dream, saying, Joseph, thou son of David, fear not to take unto thee Mary thy wife, for that which is conceived in her is of the Holy Ghost. And she shall bring forth a son, and thou shalt call his name Jesus, for he shall save his people from their sins. Now all this was done that it might be fulfilled, which was spoken of the Lord by the prophet, saying, Behold, a virgin shall be with child, and shall bring forth a son, and they shall call his name Emmanuel, which being interpreted is God with us. Then Joseph, being raised from sleep, he did as the angel of the Lord had bidden him, and he took unto him his wife, and he knew her not until she brought forth her firstborn son, and he called his name Jesus. The Gospel of Matthew. Amen. All right, praise the Lord. <clears throat> name is Jesus. Amen. What a name. The name above all names. All right, we're going to continue on now. Sing another hymn, uh, number 288, Hark the Herald Angels Sing. So let's all stand again. I think we've been a little up and down today, okay? And uh, we're going to do verses 1 through 2, okay, on Hark the Herald Angels Sing. This is uh, somebody I'm looking forward to meeting in heaven, John and Charles Wesley. The Wesley brothers were on fire for the Lord. And I can't wait to meet those two brothers. And this is one song by Charles. All right, ready, brother? Yep. Hark the herald angels sing Glory to the newborn king Peace on earth and mercy mild God and sinners reconciled. Joyful all ye nations rise, join the triumph of the skies. With angelic hosts proclaim, Christ is born in Bethlehem. Hark the herald angels sing Glory to the newborn King Christ by high is heaven adored Christ the everlasting Lord Late in time behold him come Offspring of the virgin's womb. Veiled in flesh the Godhead see. Hail the incarnate deity. Please as man with men to dwell. Jesus our Emmanuel. Hark the herald angels sing. Glory to the newborn King. Woo, praise the Lord. Good, good singing. Oh, you may be seated. Can you imagine singing that in heaven with everyone? What that would sound like? Wow. All right. Hark the herald angels sing. Now we have a special uh, reading. Uh, our second reading today is by Pastor Ron Crane. And right after that, Pastor Ron is going to sing a special for us. All right, Pastor Ron. Pastor Ron is a young 90 years old. Amen. I'll tell you what, I look, hope I look that good <laughs> when I'm 60. <laughs> well, I, I see more people from my church here. Elaine is here, Marty is here, Mike is here. Of course, in my, my church's name is Ray, 
I mean, Mike, this, this church is brave. But anyway, it's good to see all of you here tonight. It's a very special time. The only thing is that it only comes once a, once a year, and the songs we sing, it, they all are beautiful. We only sing them once a year. But anyway, this, the reading I want to read to you today that is uh, found in Isaiah, Isaiah chapter 9, verse 1 to 7, and it says, Nevertheless, the dimness had not been such as was in Bexitate, when at the first he lightly afflicted the land of Jerusalem and the land of Nephor, and afterward did more grievous affect her by the, the way of the sea, beyond Jordan and Galilee of the nations. The people that walked in darkness have seen a great light. They that dwell in the land of the shadow of death, upon them hath the light shined. Thou hast multiplied the nation and not increased the joy. They joy before thee according to the joy in harvest, and as men rejoice when they divide the spoil. For thou hast broken the yoke of his burden, and the staff of his shoulder, the rod of his oppressor, as in the day of Midland. For every battle of the warrior is with confused noise and garments rolled in blood, but this shall be with burning and fuel of fire. For unto us a child is born, unto us a son is given, and the government shall be upon his shoulder, and his name shall be called Wonderful, Consular, the Mighty God, the Everlasting Father, the, the Prince of Peace. Of the increase of his government and peace there shall be no end upon the throne of David and upon his kingdom to order it and to establish it with judgment and with justice from henceforth even forever. The zeal of the Lord of the host will perform this. May the Lord have the blessing to the reading of his word. The song we're singing today now is going to be a silent night. Silent night, we always the time, time we always sing that. And that other song, the manger song. But I love this song here. Listen to the words to it because it's uh, titled Silent Night. And I get my guitar here. I'm glad I tuned it up because it was sitting in the car and it was cold. It would have been very embarrassing to get up here in front of all you and start strumming. You, know, you always tell me I'm Johnny Cash. You say, no way, you Johnny Cash. You, you, you got to get another guitar. No, I tuned it tonight before, I, before. Okay, now let me get it out here. And it's good to see you, Elaine. Good to see you, Marty. Good to see you, Mike. Good to see all of you. Silent Night. Silent Night. Holy Night. All is calm. All is bright.
Thank you, Pastor Rob. Okay. You're a blessing, brother. <laughs> I want to uh, thank God for all the visitors, too. Thanks for uh, coming tonight from, I know, from Grace and Truth. Uh, other churches, too, right? Anybody else? We got uh, different churches? Okay. But uh, thank you. Thank you, brother. All right. Good to see you. All right. Little Town of Bethlehem. Okay. We're going to sing the first and the fourth. So let's stand. Okay. On this. Oh, little Town of Bethlehem. All right, my brother. singing you may be seated uh, as our brother said it's too bad we only sing these once a year huh? once a year okay well now we're going to have uh, uh, Deacon Sam Toronto is going to uh, do the scripture from Luke chapter 2 1 through 7 okay brother Sam Christmas, everyone. Merry Christmas. Isn't this a great time of the year? Amen. It's the best time of the year. Yeah. This reading's from St. Luke, chapter 2, and we're going to be reading verses 1 through 7. And it came to pass in those days that there went out a decree from Caesar Augustus that all the world should be taxed. And this taxing was first made when Cyrenius was governor of Syria. And all went to be taxed, every one into his own city. And Joseph also went up from Galilee, out of the city of Nazareth, into Judea, unto the city of David, which is called Bethlehem, because he was of the house and lineage of David. To be taxed with Mary, his espoused wife, being great with child. And so it was that while they were there, the days were accomplished, and she should be delivered. Hallelujah. Amen. And she brought forth her firstborn son and wrapped him in swaddling clothes and laid him in a manger because there was no room for them in the end. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Sam. You know, one of the things that always strike me is there was no room in the end, huh? Is that, you know what, is there room in us for Jesus Christ? Yeah. We're going to let you preach later. Uh, we're going to sing the first Noel. Let's, it's number 286. Okay, we're going to do again two verses, one and four. So number 286. And uh, I know there's other churches. Gra uh, Grace, uh, Tiffany, I, uh, what, I, what I forgot, the grace and truth, right? It's True Grace International. I know, I got it. I get, thank you. All right, good to see you here. All right, let's all stand. All righty. You know I'm getting old, so. 
All right, praise the Lord. The first Noel, the angel did say. Whoop, I better take this off. <coughs> Nothing's going to be in tune. Okay. All right, brother. Number 286, 1 and 4. It's in G C, brother. C. Uh, okay. The first Noel, the angel did say, was to certain poor shepherds in fields as they lay in fields where they lay keeping their sheep on a cold winter's night that was so deep no For this star are drew nigh to the northwest or Bethlehem it took its rest and there it did both stop and stay right over the king. I can't wait till he comes back. All right. You may be seated. And it won't be long, brother and sister. <coughs> what if this was our, it's our last Christmas, just say. Wouldn't that be something? Okay. All right. All righty. Well, we're going to have a special now from uh, brother Emmett Green. And right after that, Deacon Jim Phillips, you get ready and you're going to come up and read the next scripture. Okay. Luke chapter 2, 8 through 14. Okay, Brother Emmett. This moment, Deacon Jim Phillips, you can come ready. He's going to read Luke chapter 2, 8 through 12, 14. Thank you, Brother. Luke 2. Verse 8 through 14. And there were in the same country shepherds abiding in the field, keeping watch over the flock by night. And lo, the angel of the Lord came upon them, and the glory of the Lord shone round about them, and they were sore afraid. And the angel said unto them, Fear not, for behold, I bring you good tidings of great joy, which shall be to all people. For unto you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, which is Christ the Lord. And this shall be a sign unto you. You shall find the babe wrapped in swaddling clothes, lying in a manger. And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of the heavenly host, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace, goodwill toward men. All right, now uh, we're going to sing the hymn, uh, Away in the Manger, number 293. Before you stand... Uh, I, I don't know. Uh, is the live stream coming through or no? No, we're going to have a problem, but it will be on after the service. Okay, it's going to be on after the service. Okay. 
Um, I will just say this. Um, I might get a little emotional. Um, this is Donna's favorite song. I remember uh, she was in a wheelchair, <coughs> I think it was last year or the year before, and she starts crying when, every time she hears Away in the Manger. And uh, I'm just thinking she could be away with the Savior very soon, my wife, okay? I don't know when, but uh, you thank God for what you have and for life, health, and strength, and live for Jesus. And you know, she's using, you know, I can see her standing right there. She would do, a, do sometimes do a reading of some sort when we do these uh, uh, services. But uh, what a great song, Away in the Manger. Uh, it's gonna always make an effect on me, okay? Pastor Mike, I hope you're right. I really hope you're right because then I won't I won't miss through this. Okay, all right. Let's all stand. Okay, away in the manger. that little baby back there. What's uh, your daughter's name again? Oh, amen. Look at her. Look at that little cute one right back there. See? <laughs> Way in a manger. Okay, man. All righty. Well, uh, Pastor Mike, I'm glad you may be seated. I'm glad he's here. Okay? Good to be here, brother. Yeah, he's going to read the next portion of Scripture. Where would you rather be than right here, right now? That's right. This is the best. Thank you, in the Lord's house. And we're continuing in the Gospel of Luke, chapter 2, reading that great uh, story and the, the angels just appeared saying, Glory to God in the highest Amen. on earth peace, goodwill toward men. And it came to pass, as the angels were gone away from them into heaven, the shepherds said one to another, Let us now go to Bethlehem and see this thing which has come to pass, which the Lord hath made known to us. And they came with haste, and they found Mary and Joseph and the babe lying in a manger. And when they had seen it, they made known abroad the saying which was told them concerning this child. And all they that heard it wondered at those things which were told them by the shepherds. But Mary kept all these things and pondered them in her heart. And the shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God for all the things that they had heard and seen as it was told unto them. Gospel of Luke. Well, we're going to sing uh, the song Angels We Have Heard on High. Now, it's not in the songbook, but it is on the back of your, uh, if you, your bulletin there, okay? So uh, let's go to that. All right. And uh, did you ever do this, Pastor Mike? 
Did you ever lose your notes? I just lost mine. Oh, no, here it is. It's right, it's right in front of my eye. Okay. <laughs> Angels we have heard on high. You've got the, uh, uh, if you would, the, uh, there's two verses on the back. Okay. All right. Angels we have heard on high. Go ahead, brother. Angels we have heard on high, sweetly singing o'er the plain, and the mountains in reply, echoing their joy. Come on now, glory. Why this jubilee? Why your joyous strain prolong? What the glad some tidings be, which inspire your head. Here we go now. Oh. in the Catholic Church like I was? We used to do that old, in the Latin, we, oh yeah, I remember that. You know what we were saying. All right, praise the Lord. I'm going to ask you to just take your Bibles and look into the book of Luke for a moment, okay? Book of Luke. Right where we were, chapter 2. And uh, the, uh, I just want to talk about real quick here. The threefold gift from God. You know, my mother-in-law, uh, years ago, I miss her. I miss, you know, it's a funny, you know, you, you, you think back in time, you see things. My mother-in-law, when we used to have Christmas, we'd go downstairs in the, in the apartment we lived. She, they lived downstairs on the east side of Buffalo there. And uh, my mother-in-law would have a box like this, and in it would be, not one, but three, four, five gifts. And I used to look, I'd open that box up one year, there was a hooded t uh, sweatshirt. I was like, wow, all right, got a hooded. And then she made these little uh, plastic craft things. You know, she had M&Ms and candy in there, just what I needed, you know? And uh, then there'd be a $10 bill stuck somewhere, you know, like a pair of socks. And it was just like, as I opened this thing up, I go, oh, look at this, oh man, look at what, you know, this is great, you know? It, uh, it's like Jesus. Yeah. When you find Jesus, it's not threefold. It just keeps going on and on. Yeah. And I think I lost my banner. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So, going on and on. Who, who's in charge of this? I am. Okay. Uh, okay. Yeah, that's all right. So anyways, you know what I'm talking about? It goes on and on and, and uh, with the, the gift of the Lord Jesus. Christ. Okay. Anyways, so let's take a look at this uh, in the threefold gift now of the Lord Jesus Christ to us from God. Okay. First is the first gift is as we know is salvation, Amen. and it's love. Love. I don't know about you. That's all we keep searching for in life. Yeah. We sang songs about it in the old days. We're looking for love always in the wrong places, right? We can never find that love, but that love is found in Jesus Christ. In Luke chapter 2, verse 11, it says this, For unto you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, which is Christ 
the Lord. And, you sh and this shall be a sign unto you. Shall, you shall find the babe wrapped in swaddling clothes, lying in a manger. That's love. He gave his only son. Can you imagine that? I mean, just think, of, this is the king, Lord of lords. And there he is. You know, he's, being, he, he's in, a, uh, in, a, in a manger, laying in a manger where animals would feed from. Because he's the bread of life, brother and sister. I'll tell you what. I, but that was love. The whole story's love, isn't it? I mean, look what, look what Christmas, I mean, the true meaning of Christmas has done to us. And you know the, story, uh, the verse, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, he says, but have everlasting life. That's love. God doesn't want us to perish. He loves us so much. He saw through the, beyond the beginning of time, Jesus was the lamb slain before the foundation of the world. That's love. That's love. Because I don't know, when someone does you wrong, you don't love them very often, do you? Come on, think about that. But God, you know, knew that we were going to turn from, from him with our sin. But what did he do? He loved us. And he made provision for eternal life. And that's, thank God. So in the first part of this gift, there's this love. And one thing about the love, I love this. The blood of Jesus Christ cleanses us from all sin. Amen. How much sin you got? I don't want to know about it. I don't want you to know my sin. But it's gone. It's gone. Un that's love. That's love for someone to say, you're forgiven. I love you. Let's get going. And remember that. The second part as you open this up, not only salvation, but satisfaction. Okay? A fulfillment in life. You know? And it's life. And, and it's not only, it, not only life, but eternal life. And it's also abundant life for the Christian. Luke 2.15, and it came to pass, as the angels were gone away from them unto heaven, the shepherds said one to another, let us now go even in, unto Bethlehem, and see this thing which has come to pass, which the Lord hath made known to us. I just love that scripture right there. And he says, he made this known to us? Let's go see. Let's do it. You know, didn't he make it known to us? Yes. Come on, let's go show him. Let's go tell him how great Jesus is. By the way, I said, this again, it's so easy to pass out tracks right now. You don't even have to have Christmas tracks. Just walk out. Merry Christmas, Merry Christmas. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. You know, nobody says nothing, you know. You know, verse 16, and they came with haste and found Mary and Joseph and the babe lying in a manger. And I just want to say this. First part of this gift, you see the love, the salvation. Now, life. I have life, but my life is coming to an end. So is yours, okay? But you know, when you find Jesus Christ, you have eternal life, life forever. Now you have life forever. You also have abundant life. You should, be, you should be really having a good time right now. In the house of God, in the Bible, you got an abundant life. And I hope you're living that. You know, it's not a drab life. No, and we, our brother said it right. You know, we, we, we beat Marv Levy on this. Where would you rather be? I'd rather be in the house of God. I want to be here. You know, I'm going home one day. So are you. And there's, it's, life's going to last forever. Think about this. But you know, one thing about this, this life he gave... It's, it's, it, was, it was in Bethlehem that the birth was going to take place in verse 15. We found that, okay? And that was predicted uh, uh, 700 years before even this, uh, the birth of Christ. But Bethlehem means house of bread. I know we all know that or most of us know that. But just think of that. Why, did, why was it Bethlehem? Why wasn't it Nazareth? Why is it, wasn't it Capernaum? Why was it not Jerusalem? Why wasn't it Buffalo? Okay? All right, all I got to say is this. It was Bethlehem because he says, that's the place, and he's the bread of life. Amen. You know, and that's, I want you to know this. And you know what? In Luke 2, 16, again, they, they, they found the babe lying in a manger. Pastor Ron, you always have that thing. It's supper time. Call, God's calling us home. But you know what? You think about it. There's the bread of life in the manger. There, there he is. He says, you, he says, I want you to have eternal life. Just take it. Take of me. And you know what Jesus says? He says, I'm the bread of life. He that cometh to me will never hunger. And he that believeth in me shall never thirst. You know, I, I used to hunger after this world. I used to thirst after this world. And no, no matter what I ate from this world, this worldly ways and drank, I was hungry. I was thirsty. 
until I found Jesus Christ and been satisfied. The only thing I want more is him. And he says, here I am. You know, and the last part of this great gift is this light, light. And in that light, there's a straight path, a direction in our life. Look with, you, with me in Luke 2, 9. And lo, the angel of the Lord came upon them, and the glory of the Lord shone round about them, and they were sore afraid. You know what? God shows up in the midst of the darkness, light. He shows us. He shows us what, how great light is and who he is. And the angel said unto them, Fear not. I always love this. Every message from, that around this, especially these scriptures, don't be afraid. I'm here. I love you. For behold, I bring you good tidings of great joy, which shall be to all people. For unto you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, which is Christ the Lord. And I just want to say this. He gave him direction. That light show. And then, that light, then he gave directions to go to Bethlehem. God's going to always lead you in the right direction. Amen. There's a way that seems right unto men, but the end thereof is the way of death, right? Is it not? Okay, but his way. You know, and I love this. You know the scripture Jesus said in John 8, 12, I am the light of the world. He that followeth me shall not walk in darkness, but you'll have the light of life. You got the light of life? Let, us, let, let people see it in you. Let them see it in your countenance. Let them see it in the way you act. Let them see how great Jesus is. Let people say, I want what you got. Instead of them saying, I don't want what you got. I want what you got. Okay? You know, follow Christ. You know what? And you'll never walk in darkness. Isn't that great? I mean, just think. You know what? This is only beginning. This is more than threefold. You keep opening up this gift, and it gets greater and greater and greater. There's fruits. There's giftings. There's callings. There's, there's more and more and more. He's, he's the light that brought life to me, okay? So let us remember that. Let's just close our eyes and bow our heads for a, a word of a prayer uh, before we go on here. So Lord, with our, heads bowed and with our heads bowed and eyes closed, I just want you to know how much Jesus loves you. And right now, I don't know if, if you haven't grasped that, because I don't think I've grasped that and comprehended the love of Christ. But I pray tonight that you would know the love of Jesus Christ. You know, if you're saved, that you would know it even greater. How many by saying, by raising their hand, I want to know his love. I want to love souls. I want to love him. I want, yes, God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. I, I want to live that way. I want to live that way. And, you know, how many might say this, that, you know what, not only do I, I, I want to know that love, but, you know what, I do. I do want to follow him. I do want to follow him. And, you know what, satisfaction. You know what, there are things maybe in our lives that we're taking satisfaction from that aren't fulfilling us. Let's just say tonight, I want you. I want the bread of life. I want, I want the water, you know, the everlasting life. I want to eat and drink of you, Jesus. Lord, you're my satisfaction. Nothing in this world but you, Lord. Yes, God bless you. God bless you. Fill my life. Yes. Yeah, you know what? It's the gift. It keeps just, just pouring out. And finally, I need direction. I don't want to walk in darkness no more, do you? I want to walk in his light. I want to shine for him. I want to bring others to Jesus Christ. Do you feel like that? Yes, God bless you. I do. I want to bring people to Jesus. Yes, God bless you. God grant now the, the heart's desire and calling of each person this day. We love you with all our heart, soul, mind, and strength, Lord. And Lord, let's love our neighbor as ourself. Let's love the lost. I want that. I keep saying it on, from the pulpit on Sundays. I want to love like Jesus so I won't stop witnessing. That's all that's going to come out of me is Jesus. Is there anyone here? I know we're talking probably home crowd, but is there anyone here that has never asked Jesus Christ to save them? Because this would be a great day. This is, would be your day of salvation to see his love, his life and light. Anyone says, pray for me. I need to ask Jesus to come into my heart. Anyone by lifting your hand, 
It says, keep me in prayer, Pastor, because this is what I need, because it is what we need, brother and sister. Thank you, Lord. All right. Thank you for all you've done. In Jesus' name, amen. Okay, you may look this way. What we're going to do at this time, we're going to have the Lord's Supper, okay? And uh, our, our church here, uh, so when we partake, you just come down the middle aisle and you, you take of the bread and cup and then just go back to your seat. But I do want to know, ask, is there anyone that has trouble walking down the aisle or so forth? I'll pass it to you. Is there anyone like that before uh, we start that would like me to bring it to you? Okay. All righty. And also, if you're a guest here, you're welcome to partake if you know Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. You don't have to be a member of this church, but you've got to be a member of the body of Christ. You've got to know Jesus Christ. Okay. All right. What a great day to do this. Huh? A, a great time. You just take this message. Your live stream and eventually here. Okay. Um, We think that that child that was born 30-some years later is in an upper room, knows he's going to the cross. You know, he knows he's going to suffer, brutally die, you know, but he's going to die for our sins because he loves us. And he's going to institute, you know, the New Testament the Lord's, through the Lord's Supper. And isn't it great to know that, you know what, when you eat this of this bread, you do remember that Jesus gave his life for you. Yes. When you take of this cup, you do remember that Jesus Christ's blood was shed for us. Yes. So, as I open up the uh, elements here, I'm going to read the scripture here from 1 Corinthians. Would you do that for me, brother? Okay. Oh, you're, you're, you're a good man, brother. I'm going to have you read the scripture here. Look at that. Here you go. All right, I'll, 1 Corinthians 11, verse 23. Okay, okay, right through, through. Okay. Okay. All right, yes. go ahead, brother. I'll hold the microphone. For I have received of the Lord that which also I delivered unto you, that the Lord Jesus, the same night in which he was betrayed, he took bread. And when he had given thanks, he brake it and said, Take, eat. This is my body, which is broken for you. This do in remembrance of me. And after the same manner also he took the cup when he had supped, saying, This cup is the New Testament in my blood. This do ye, as oft ye drink it, in remembrance of me. For as often as ye eat this bread and drink this cup, ye do show the Lord's death till he come. Thank you, brother. This is what the birth of Christ was all about, what he was going to do. Let's bow our heads and close our eyes for a word of prayer. Oh, there you are. I want to make sure you're okay. All right. Father, in Jesus' name, as my brother read these scriptures, which are as powerful as they are, as they were at that day, you are the bread of life, and as we partake of this, I want to thank you for dying for, for us, for dying on the cross and giving your life. And Lord, as we take this broken bread, let us be broken of self and live for you, Jesus. And we take of this cup, and in this cup we do remember that our sins have been forgiven. And I thank you for the blood of Jesus Christ that has washed my sins away, as well as everyone here. I just ask now, Lord, that we, our hearts would be made right. Before you partake, just examine your heart. Make sure there is no nothing, no sin between you and the Savior. Confess it to the Lord. And make sure your heart is right to be forgiving towards one another. Because this is what this is all about. To love not only the Lord, but one another. So Lord, we ask this in Jesus' name. Just keep your heads bowed, eyes closed, and just for a moment, just just examine your heart and search the Lord.
you don't have to play for me. No, it's okay. Come on. All right, let's all stand if you would. All right, I'm going to sing a song, and you may just come. The song's called Tiny Little Hands. You may come now. Tiny little hands round a finger so tight Brought a lot of joy to a mother one night Tiny little hands round a finger so tight Brought a lot of joy to a mother one night Brought a lot of joy to a mother one night Now that same hand held a hammer tight That same hand held a hammer tight that same hand held a hammer tight He hit a lot of nails Till morning was night Hit a lot of nails Till morning was night Now that same hand held a loaf of bread That same hand held a loaf of bread that same hand held a loaf of bread He gave to five thousand till all were fed Gave to five thousand till all were fed Now that same hand made a blind man see That same hand made a blind man see that same hand made a blind man see He made a blind man see For you and for me Made a blind man see For you And me Now that same hand Was nailed to a tree That same hand was nailed to a tree that same hand was nailed to a tree He shed his precious blood For you and for me Shed his precious blood For you and me Now that same hand It is outstretched still That same hand It is outstretched still that same hand, it is outstretched still. It's outstretched to for whomsoever will. Outstretched, outstretched to for whomsoever will. Tiny little hands round the finger so tight brought a lot of joy. To a mother one night You may pass your cups to the middle aisles if you want and our uh, usher deacon will take care of that. So here's what I'd like you to do, okay? I'd like, if you're on the end uh, of the rolls, if you would go, oh, I'm sorry, we gotta get the candles first. Okay, that's right, okay. So, uh, okay, Jimmy, you got someone to help you? Okay, all right, Zach, would you uh, guys come and now pass the candles uh, to one another? Uh, if you have children, just make sure they you know, hold it straight so it doesn't uh, spill any wax. Okay, you can just hand them out. As soon as you get your candle, if you're on the end 
uh, of the aisle, just light your candle, light the person's candle next to you and pass it on, Connie. You know what I'm talking about? Okay? All right, so you can do that now if you'd like, and uh, just so uh, you can. Do you, need, do you want a candle, brother? Okay. That's oh, right, I got to play it. All right, praise the Lord. Yeah, if you're, there's candles right on the, on the window sills, too. You can take your uh, uh, flame from the window sills if you want. Yeah, just pass it one to another. There you go. All right. You know what's the neatest thing about that? You think about as I've gotten light and you've gotten light, pass that light to somebody else for Jesus' sake. Okay. Sam or Heidi, could you shut all the lights? Uh, you know. The... Okay. All right, let's all stand. We're going to sing Silent Night, Holy Night. All right, are you ready? All right. Silent. So come, Lord Jesus. Even so come, Lord Jesus. Jesus, Lord, at thy birth. Jesus, Lord, at thy birth. Last verse. Silence. Christ the Savior. 
Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Amen. You may gently blow those candles out. You may keep them if you want or not. Just, well, we got a place you can discard them to. Okay. All righty. We're going to have a uh, final word of prayer while we're standing. Uh, do, do you, uh, listen, we could pass, uh, Jimmy, that maybe that, that if, you want, if you don't want the candles, just pass it down. If you, you, if you want them, you can keep them because I'm going to throw them in a circular file, so I'd rather have you have them. So. Okay, so if you, Jim's back there with the uh, basket. Okay, anybody? Okay, if you want, just go ahead. Come on down, Jimmy, see if anybody wants them. All right. Okay, as the rest is your passing, let's all stand. We're going to sing the song, Joy to the World, the Lord has come. All right. God is good. Amen. Pastor uh, Ron, Pastor Ron, would you give us a final word of blessing? Okay. Amen. All right, listen, where are you going to be on Sunday? Be at the Lord's house. Amen. At your church, where you are, and, you know, be praising the Lord. Live for Jesus Christ and have a Merry Christmas. If I don't see you, all right, and I'll see you, I'll see you soon. Okay. All right, joy to the world. Here we go. Ready, brother? Joy to the world, the Lord is come. Let earth receive her king. Yeah, 285. Let every heart prepare him room. And heaven and nature sing. And heaven and nature sing. And heaven and heaven and nature sing. Joy to the world, the Savior reigns. Let men their song employ While fields and floods, rocks, hills and play Repeat the sounding joy, repeat the sounding joy Repeat, repeat the sounding joy He rules the world, amen, with truth and grace and me the glories of his righteousness and wonders of his love and wonders of his love and one and wonders of I right, first verse one more time joy to the world the Lord is come let earth receive 